nine years ago to this day, 23rd of June, it's when I first got locked up. I remember it like it was yesterday. Now, I already was previously sentenced for getting into things I wasn't supposed to. Putting my nose in stuff I wasn't supposed to put my nose in. They didn't send me to prison for that. The judge ordered me to wear an electronic tag. And stupid over here decided that he wants to cut off his electronic tag. Obviously, the police are going to be looking for me. Once you do something like that, you're automatically ordered to go to court. So I decided to leave London to go up south to get me do my team. And there was a warrant out for my arrest or whatever. Boom, fast forward. And they ordered me to come to court for the 23rd of June, 2011. The judge that was gonna sentence me was the same judge who sentenced me to the electronic tag. He's the same judge that when he could have sent me to prison, he thought, nah, I'll let you off the hook this time. You got a tag, you need to do probation, community service, all that bullshit. But I'll let you off, you ain't gonna to go to prison this time. Well, when I met him again, he was reading the report, whatever, the case, whatever. And he's like, I remember you. About four months ago, or whenever it took place, I gave you an electronic tag that stopped you from going to prison. And now you violated that. Yeah. Boom, they sent man away. I remember I went to Woodgreen Crown Court, got sentenced. It was a six month sentence, but two of the months ran concurrent with a four month sentence. So anyways, basically four months do two. And the day before that, I went to NatWest and I just emptied out of my account and I turned up to court with all the money that I had because I knew I can't be relying on my mum or whatever to be sending me money and so I was just going to empty out of my account, which weren't much, <laughs> which weren't much. Back then, I was broke as a joke, man on job seekers allowance, yeah, like rock bottom. So I filled up my, emptied out my account, filled up my pockets for my money, went to court, got sentenced and that. Now, I'll talk about what I did when I came out in another video. But a lot of men say that once a man goes in, usually they reoffend in that time. Usually they reoffend within the first 18 months and they're straight back in prison. Well, I managed to survive nine years. Now, I got lucky because I was still running rampant, doing foolishness. I even got stabbed because I punched someone in the face and stuff like that. So I wasn't exactly keeping a low profile for the first three or four months of my release. But afterwards, I developed a, a better head, if you want to call it that. And I decided, you know what, all this gang stuff, all this criminal activity has to stop. Now, one reason why I don't want to go back to prison. Obviously, the main thing is my time. <laughs> you know, the most precious thing you got on this world on this earth is time so to be spending that behind an iron door is a fucking waste of life but secondly i don't want to go back to prison because of my ocd i can't live in those conditions no it's filthy just write my book and i'm just i finished my book now i just need to edit it so i'm going to edit the book myself and then get someone to edit it polish it up and that but i've written out all my chapters <clears throat> And I was going through um, the chapter where I first went to Felton, then ISIS, and I was talking about the conditions of the shower and the showers are filthy and that. Like, I didn't have any flip flops at the time, so I had to wear my Air Force Ones into the shower or I leave them at the side because once you shower, if you're walking on a dirty floor, you may as well not shower. Put it that way, you get verrucas and that. So, man, I had to keep my Air Force Ones local because I didn't want to get no verrucas on my feet. I heard, man, I got verrucas and all that kind of shit. Even showering. When I got to ISIS, one of the guys on the wing that I knew 
said that he gave his towel in, yeah, so a towel that he used to dry himself, he gave his towel in and he didn't get it back. So for two days, until he got a new towel, he couldn't shower. I thought to myself, fuck that. So you know what I did? The whole six, because I was in Felton for two weeks and I was in Isis for six weeks. The six week duration I was at Isis for, I never changed my towel. I used the same nasty, cheesy smelling towel for six weeks. This is the type of shit that you have to put up with when you go to jail. Underwear. If you don't have someone send you in underwear, like your mom or your next of kin, girlfriend, whatever, is either you're going to be wearing a next man's underwear. I remember, <laughs> this ain't no luxury hotel, you know. The underwear, the boxer shorts them that you wear, you take them off and you put them in the general population's laundry. Now, certain times you can get your own laundry washed with your laundry only. I think you have to pay money or something like that. I can't really remember. But even then, certain man's laundry was going missing. Believe you me. There are men in jail who steal other men's laundry. It's, it's fucking insane, isn't it? There's men out there, they see you in your little Spider-Man boxer shorts. Bro, they're going to have that. A man has gone out of his way to steal an next man's boxer shorts. This is the type of shit you have to deal with in prison. So what I was doing, I thought, you know what? Again, obviously, I couldn't wash my towel in the sink inside the cell because obviously it's just too big. So my boxers, them, my socks, them, and my T-shirts, I used to hand wash it using a flipping bar of salt in prison, in the sink, in the cell. And I used to hang my fucking T-shirt up at the window like it was on fucking curtains. That's partly why I don't want to go back to jail. Obviously, the time. Yeah, no one wants to be behind an iron door doing nothing. Now, if I did go back to prison, which I won't, I'd spend my time writing books because, you know, man for you to lie their time, in it. Certain man are in jail just messing around and cracking jokes. Certain man are just there having fun or whatever. Some man do utilise their time by doing courses and stuff. I've heard stories, man, are coming out and... They've, you know, become a plumber or whatever. And I mean, when I was there, I'd done a food hygiene course. But most men go to jail, they're just there cracking jokes. And even the govs, everyone knows, right, that jail, it can be hard at times, don't get twisted. But more time, it's just like a holiday camp. In the UK, prison is like a holiday camp. I remember when I first got to um, Felton. When I first got to Felton, the govs, who are the prison guards, said to me, just enjoy your time. I was thinking, what the fuck was this? Some joke thing? What, is this some holiday camp? But UK prison is pretty much like a holiday camp. You got a bunch of man. UK prison is like youth club for over 18s, over 21s, plus 25s. You got a man who's 40 years old in jail. Not that I met because I never went to a big man prison. I went to a, um, a prison where they housed young people between the age of 18 and 25. But you got man who are 40 years old, just messing around, acting like a damn fool in a prison full of other idiots. So UK prison is like youth club for big boys. You got man playing ping pong, man playing pool, man playing PlayStation, you know. There's man that get PlayStation sent into prison. Now I never got no PlayStation sent into prison because I weren't on the enhanced. I think to get on enhanced, you have to have good behavior for X amount of time. And plus, you start getting in gadgets and shit like that, mobile phones, which are illegal, you put yourself on the radar to become a fucking target. And I'll talk about that in another video. But I definitely ain't going back to prison. Cause I ain't dealing with those nasty conditions. Stay away.